Dead Space Extraction is a Wii game that tries to take what made the Dead Space series so great and trying to combine that into a rail shooter with clunky camera angles, a lackluster story, and a campaign that you can beat in and around an afternoon, which at the end doesn't quite live up to its predecessor. Extraction is a prequel to the original Dead Space and takes place during the same time as the animated film Dead Space Downfall. It revolves around a group of colonists fighting against the affection of necromorphs created when a small crew of miners were trying to extract a marker and started to suffer hallucinations and began to attack everybody. From there on out, your goal is to find survivors and get out of the planet. You play several different characters at different moments in the game, but instead of developing any of these characters, they end up killing them off pretty early on, which helps when giving you the sense that no one is safe here, but doesn't give you enough time to establish any kind of connection, thus you stop caring about what happened to any of these characters. One thing that I felt was a bit of a slight downgrade from the other Death Space games is the voiceover work. I've always found the original Death Space and Death Space 2 to have top-notch delivery in their characters. This time around, you have very amateur and at times kind of wacky delivery to the dialogue. The shuttles! They're all gone. We're stuck here. Not necessarily. There's a surveying shuttle in the Sector 8 maintenance bay. Are you sure? Quite sure. I hitched a ride on it yesterday from the Ishimura. You're from the that can sometimes take me out of the pretty good atmosphere this game has. The writing doesn't really help either. I've always found Death Space, at least for the most part, to be unpredictable. And with Extraction, you know pretty early on who's gonna die, who's gonna turn on you in the end, which almost killed any reason to finish the game for me. The controls are what you would expect from a rail shooter. You have a reticle on screen, and you point your Wii Remote, PlayStation Move, or even your regular PS3 Remote at the enemies to kill them. They bring over the same dismemberment system where we're used to in the previous Death Space, where you're better off taking out the legs and arms of a necromorph than just the head and the stomach. They also bring over most of the weapons that you come to remember from the previous game like the line gun which has a widespread attack and the ripper which has a saw blade in front of it and hacks everything that comes close. This was not my favorite gun in the game, mostly because your enemies needs to be really close to do any damage and when you're fighting against a monster that shoots from a distance and all you have is a ripper, you may find yourself kinda screwed. One thing I found to be a slight annoying is the camera. Being a rail shooter, you have no control over the camera except for those few moments where they let you take control and make you look around a room for hidden items. The problem lies when you're fighting against both air and ground enemies at the same time. The camera is usually locked up to the sky or down to the ground depending on the type of monster you're currently facing. The problem I face is when a flying monster would attack me, so the camera would look up to face that monster, then an enemy on the ground would attack me as well, but the camera is still locked up to the sky looking at the flying monster, so I find myself being attacked and unable to see the monster on the ground, or defend myself until I kill the flying monster then the camera would adjust to the ground. It's pretty annoying when it happens to you. They also tried to expand the game a little from just shooting, with letting you choose different routes at certain points of the single player campaign. You also use your kinesis powers for very simple missions where you have to lift up an item or drag an item and bring it to another location. Also there are some zero g moments where you have to point at a certain part of the room and have that character zip his way over there. There's also a two player co-op mode where you can get your friend to join you in your mission. It's all on one screen and you have to share the items that you grab together. So you still have to be careful on using all your ammo even in co-op mode. The only way I can recommend this game is if you're really into learning more about the Death Space storyline. It does a good job in connecting itself to the first Death Space, but as a standalone product that you can beat in an afternoon, you're better off just renting. That's why I gave this game a 7 out of 10 score.